hello guys welcome to my another course in this course you will learn how to build a student registration system in PHP and MySQLi this is the home page of this project first of all a student need to register the record this is the navigation bar and this is the home page first of all I click on login and then we need to uh, register the account okay first I click register now then we need to upload the image uh, first name last name username date of birth gender and email password so first of all I click on register now first step you need to fill in the blanks okay I upload the image for example I go to desktop and uh, I select the pictures and in this uh, system you can't upload the more than 1 MB MSI this image uh, greater than of 1 MB I go to property and now you can see here guys 1.7 MB I select this image and enter a username and I assign the basically date of birth email and I assign the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 I can't store the value on this database why because the image size is a too large I mean a uh, large of 1 MB okay I click uh, uh, register now image size too large right now the next security is I upload the less than 1 MB uh, image for example this image and I enter the username I mean first name last name and I enter username with a space okay with a space and I enter the 1 2 3 4 5 6 I can't store the value why because the username have entered the space okay let's check it right please enter valid characters now the final I upload the image and enter the first name last name and with the bar gender email and password everything is perfect so I click to register now now you have successfully registered now okay this is a my mistake sorry guys so after uh, register the user then user will able to log in the account I click on login and now this is a login form okay before login the student I will show you the database okay the first uh, ID image first name last name username date of birth gender email and password has been encrypted right now the final is a date of registration now I enter for example I want to log in the username I can do that okay this is a my record okay image first name and last name uh, is concatenated and ID the whole information available on this page I click on logout I redirect with the home page I, I click to login and I enter my email I can do that right now the next process is I mean next uh, future in this application is this is a student registration system okay a student will able to um, register the account and log in the account before um, understanding another feature I will show you another features I click to log in and register now right and I enter our uh, store another record for example Sahil Jamal and I enter Sahil Jamal and I send the date of birth and I send the email and I send the password 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay register now I click to login and I send the for example Sahil 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now you can see here this is a URL success equal to 2 
it means this is a two number two record I want to see number one record I change the number and hit enter I can't see the number one record because this is a second record this is a very important security for a student but I click to number two this is a number two record right I log out and I log in the first user account okay this is the first uh, user account I see number two I can't see that okay this is a very important features in this application now the next uh, feature is I click to I use uh, enter uh, the admin login this is the admin login form first of all admin need to enter uh, the admin I mean username and password then admin are able to perform the operations like uh, view a record right okay now the uh, edit the record for example I click edit and I want to change the date of birth I want to change the for example password double two double five double eight and I want to change the image for example I want to change the image mm, this image okay update now right programmer and this is a I will show you guys the record the ID this is the image and uh, this is the date of birth has been changed and password also changed okay now the next is delete the record for example I want to delete the record okay and I am able to search the record for example I want to search the record with the help of username I will write the programmer as if right I go back I am able to use email to search the record okay copy that paste here and search the record okay and I go back I am able to uh, register the user basically I am admin okay I upload the image mm, this image and enter the name and uh, whereas enter the date of birth email email and enter the password right and I go back in admin panel.php page right okay guys now another security is uh, I have stored uh, two records right uh, the first one is programmer asif and second one is Riaz Hussain I want to store another record for example I right click it and uh, click to register now and I have stored more than two records right I refresh the database I want to store the same username okay same username for example I want to store the same username I can't do that why because I have already stored uh, number one I mean uh, user on the application I select this image and enter the for example any other name I'm, and I assign the same username okay and I assign the email only focus on this uh, username okay I click to register now username already taken I can't restore that okay now another security is I want to upload the I mean I store the record with same email I can't store that why because the email available on the database I select this image okay this image okay and I store for example this uh, random and I send the same email okay register now okay just a minute this is a character's uh, validation so just a minute say programmer and 
I store for example size something and I store under the same email okay I will show you the email okay where is email here this is already email available in the database so I click to register now now guys you can see here email already taken so this is a complete student registration system developed in PHP and MySQL if you want to learn that you must have a PHP and MySQL knowledge thank you very much for watching the video have a nice day guys